Now this orchid right here is known to be the Phaeus orchid, also known as the nun's cap orchid or the nun's orchid. And the reason why it's known to be the nun's cap orchid is that when it blooms, it's rather large blossoms, they actually look like a nun's cap. This is known to bloom in a huge cluster of blossoms and is known to be fragrant and blooming four to six weeks. And here's an interesting fact about the spike of the nun's orchid. As you can see, it is rather thick. And if you allow this to bloom and finish blooming, afterwards you can actually cut this in six inch segments. And this can be used as a propagation method where you may be lucky enough to have a new growth of a new orchid actually growing from the spike. How interesting is that? Okay, folks, and here we are again, about a month later since we did a feature on this beautiful Phaeus orchid right here. Now, if you guys can remember correctly how she once looked and what she looks like now, and indeed there has been quite a tremendous difference, especially in the blooming process right here. In the beginning, what we were looking at was just the formation or the start of the buds, but now she is almost in full bloom and look at that just gorgeous with such an abundance of these nun cap looking blossoms and if we take a close look at the tip look at here look at here folks we are still expecting some more blooms so she is not even quite done giving her spectacular display of these gorgeous blossoms right here like oh my wow so gorgeous. And as we take a closer look at these blossoms, oh my, what a beautiful contrast in colors. If we take a look at the throat area, you are beginning to see on the outskirt a very light faint pink. But as we go deeper into the throat, you're noticing that raspberry, very deep burgundy, and indeed deep down in the throat area, it's almost so dark that it's almost a maroonish blackish color. And also if we take a look at the underside of these petals, you are noticing a very nice looking brown right here, almost an orangey colorish brown if you will. And on the top of the petal itself, look at here folks, you are noticing that very nice pristine white right there. So indeed, quite a beautiful contrast in color. And I have to say, I really can enjoy and admire such an abundance of blooms. So beautiful, wouldn't you say? So this Phaeus blossom right here, or this Phaeus orchid, really does get a thumbs up from me because indeed such a spectacular display in blooms. And indeed, I can cherish each and every Every one of the beautiful flowers. And again, folks, this orchid right here is a terrestrial orchid and one that is very, very easy to grow. And taking a look at these beautiful blossoms, what an explosive amount of blooms this orchid will give. Also, because this is a terrestrial orchid, you can decide to grow this potted up in a container or you can also grow this directly in the ground just as long as the soil that you are growing it in is very organic and very well aerated. You should do just fine. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures with me, Maria Young. And if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a green thumbs up. And if you want to stay tuned for more videos such as this, please be sure to subscribe. Now, if you also want to follow me on my Facebook channel, please be sure to do so at My Orchid Adventures. And if you want to contact me via snail mail, you can do that as well at the the following address provided right here. Again, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as you guys already know, I love you all. Mwah.